This is a floating restaurant in the middle of the ocean. I didn't literally expect to take a boat to a restaurant. It's amazing. Today, I got a chance to experience this with a little help. I am Katie, local guy in Fukuok Island. And the only way to get here is by boat? Only by boat. Oh, it's so cool. I feel like if I lean too hard, I'm not so, I'm just careful. Oh my God. Oh my God, now I'm scared. Okay. Join us on a trip to Fukuok, Vietnam. The majestic island with great food, beautiful nature, friendly people, and of course, some of the finest seafood. Today, I'll follow the steps of a local guide and discover the hidden gems of Fuwak Island. We'll find out together. As usual, I have no idea what's going on. Oh, it's so hot. I'm down here in Fuwak, Vietnam. I've been filming with Chinsu and learned how to make fish sauce. We were on a boat, we were catching anchovies. It was amazing. But we had some time off today, and I was trying to find someone to go around the city with, because of course I want to see what the locals do. And I did find a girl. She told me to meet her here, so I'm sure she'll be here soon. Oh, good to see you. Hello. So, who are you? I am Katie, local guy in Fukuok Island. It was pretty funny. I was looking for someone to take us around. Katie is a tour guide here, but this is her day off. So she's had a busy week of tours. What kind of tours do you do? I do snorkeling tour, family packing tour. Uh -huh. I do in food tours as well. Yes. So I know you've had a busy week, so I want to make it even busier for you on your day off. I thought you were coming alone though. Who's the mystery man with you? Oh, that is my secret boyfriend. Your secret boyfriend, <laughs> okay. I am pretty hungry though. We have a spot we're gonna go to for breakfast. We go into bánh canh chả cá, is it okay? Let's do it. Bánh can is the name of this thick, chewy tapioca noodle. A flavorful pork broth topped with fish cake, fish filet, finished with green onions, fried shallots, a light warm broth with a satisfying noodle texture. This is a great way to wake up. Okay. Where are we? We in a very famous noodle soup for breakfast with local people in Fukuok Island. Okay. Bánh canh chả cá. Yep. Chả cá yeah. is the fish cake here. I've had bánh canh chả cá before. Is there something special about Fukuok style? Yeah, the fish is really different. And what's different about it? The ocean fish is gonna be more fresh uh. than in the mainland of Vietnam for uh. sure. Even a fish cake as well. The ocean fish is uh, mackerel. Mm -hmm. And do you know what the fish cake is made from too? Same. The same macro. Oh, okay, cool. Fish look good. Okay, let's try the soup. The broth is great. It's like super light. I love the fish. I love the pork flavor. So there's two different kinds of fish cake in here too. I never saw this one. Looks like mop. This one's like a little chewy. I preferred the fried one. Yeah, I think this is a great start. So how do you typically season your bowl? So we have plain bowl. What do you add anything else to it? So we add bean sprout on so. it. You can sweet the lemon in. Okay. And then we love the chili as well. Do you bite? You just nibble on the chili? I dare you. Do you, uh, you like it? We can. The whole thing? Maybe I go back and forth here. Okay. <laughs> Morning challenge. <laughs> this is a hot pepper. It's a hot pepper. So this is the ban can. So this style of noodle is much thicker. Some people translate this to udon. I don't know if it's quite udon, but it's something different. Thick, chewy, it's really good. Vietnamese udon. How often do you come here? Is this very normal for you or just sometimes? It's like really normal for local people. How about for you? But for us, we're not the early bird. So we wake up at 11 a.m. Mm. and they close at 12. Mm. But if I wake up early, I love to go here. Yeah, yeah the fish and food walk is definitely a cut above the rest. It's so good. I know it's always hard to answer, but do you have a favorite soup like team pho, team bumba or something else? 100% bumba. Bumba always, yes, I agree 100% too. They have more flavor. Uh, have you any had pho in Hanoi? And yeah, I think pho in Hanoi is very good, but I still think bumba is the best. You cannot beat bumba. Tang, come eat. You haven't eaten breakfast yet. Come eat. Một tô đặc biệt. Đúng rồi. That was a very aggressive order. I like that. That was super good. Where are you guys going next? So we're gonna go to a place for a party, for fishing. We might find something really interesting place there. I like interesting things. Let's go. We got a flat tire. No big deal. If you just need air in the tire, it's like 10 cents. If you have a pop tire. It's not flat? Okay. Yeah, All right, so just some air, we're good.
So now I know this way. We're going back on the airstrip. This is a, definitely a local cut through. If you know it, you know it. Oh my God, there's a bus. Oh my God. We're fine. Oh, there's a pepper farm. Katie, can we turn around and go to the pepper farm? All right, let's do that. Let's turn around, I'm curious. Well, that's a bus. Let's wait. <laughs> okay, we good. I want to bring some pepper back to Saigon. Sure. Cool, let's see what a pepper farm looks like. He speak English. Oh, fantastic. And be it Noi Ting An. I speak a little bit. You speak a lot of it. No, it's not. <laughs> okay, let's check it out. So fish sauce is the most famous one, and then pepper is the second. And what makes this pepper different? Pepper, the spicy level is completely different. Oh, I see. Yeah. We have about five kinds. Five pepper. kinds in one tree? Red uh -huh. to pink, green to black. Inside red pepper, we remove the skin, so white inside. So white pepper. Yes, and the bigger one is the more spicy. I see. Yes. Do you have a favorite? I like red pepper, sir. You like red pepper? Yes, Why? Sir. Because the skin uh -huh. sweet, sir. Oh, okay. Yes, so okay. we really like the red pepper. Even like this baby stem right here, when you taste this like this, it, it's so spicy. Challenge it has for a the, the whole thing here. Who can do it? We'll get one dollar. I know I can do it. Yes. I just don't think you're doing it. And she's fun. Oh! <laughs> Let's go pepper shopping. This one, fish sauce, sugar, and red pepper. Pepper and salt. Best. And That's the best. Pepper and salt and garlic. And this one, more garlic. You're gonna taste the sweetness of Fukuoka. I do like this one. The fish sauce one is great. No, this one is red. This is the red pepper. Spicy. I think it does fit with a lot of things. I think anything. Everything. Very good. Very good. Well, I think I have to get a white pepper and a black and a red and maybe two of these. Yeah. We got to get it all. I'm so glad we stopped here, but it's going to rain. We got to go. This is a longer dirt drive than I've expected, and I do not see it clearing up anytime soon. This is the fun part about driving countryside. It's like you're playing a video game, except it hurts your butt. <laughs> I'm sure they're starting to sweat up there with that empty tank. They're starting to get real nervous. Call come. Call? Oh, good. Phew. Head, head. So quite, huh? <laughs> the thing that's kind of cool here is that like even local tiny vendors will just sell gasoline in old water bottles. So you don't have to find a big station, you just need to find somebody. And you'll see like bottles filled with green stuff so you know what it is. We arrived! <laughs> this place is very cool. How many times have you been here already? Three times. Three times? I was not expecting that drive. <laughs> when I, we come, I think we're going to go on the road. I didn't know we'd go there. All right, let's check it out. Let's get a boat. Grilling out, lawns being mowed, and pools opening. These are some of the things we expect with summer. <laughs> <laughs> You're not even looking where you walk. I look at every step. <laughs> Which wood do I think is not going to break on me? Kilometer speedboat. Be ready. Here we go. <laughs> I feel like I have to sit right in the center. The boat is right in front of us. He's like not turning. Oh my goodness. Wow, that's so cool. Okay. Yeah, come on, Tinya. Well, I'm already having a great day. Thank you. This is, if we went home today, I'd already be pretty happy. It's like one of the really most famous places for local people here. Oh. So even you come here, just want to get something for drink, yeah. you want to have a small salad, no problem. Oh, so you can come here and just drink a few beers, get a salad, and they'll bring you on the boat and bring you back? Correct. Oh my God, that's so cool. It's hard to say this, but it might be the coolest restaurant I've ever been to. I mean, I, it's pretty darn special. Yeah, a floating cool. restaurant in a fishing village. And she said the food's good too, which I don't even care. If the food's mediocre, I'm fine. This place is amazing, but if it's good, that's great. Aha, uh -huh. order, oh, It's like the menu is just down there, or that one, or that one. Each basket has a different kind of fish in it. I know I want goi gachik. I want the fish salad. I don't know, Katie, is there anything in particular you like or you want to eat today? Uh, I have seafood every day. So. <laughs> We're getting the crab. He's getting a fish. 
I can't even see. Whoa, that was fast. <laughs> <laughs> I like this style of fishing. This is that I can get into this fishing. Okay. Oh, salt is good too. Oh, that's cool. Okay. You think the girl better? The girl is much better. Much better. They don't tell you the secret. Well, I love the menu. Uh -huh. uh, I'm ready to eat. Let's get sit down. So we have a very nice, what do we say? I don't want to say epic, but a great spread of seafood. Some things more traditional. Some things very simple. Grilled fish, boiled crab, crab with tamarind, grilled scallop, very traditional. And then something that's super unique to Food Walk Island, which is what? Hairy fish salad. Herring fish salad. And how about in Vietnamese, what's the name of the dish? Gói cá chích. Can you show us how to eat this one? First, we have a blanket. A blanket of uh -huh. <laughs> and that's like, rice uh, paper. Rice paper. Okay. And then we add the vegetable we want to. Okay. My favorite one is the... I knew you were going to say that. I knew she's going <laughs> to... I hate that. It's the only thing I don't like. And then I put a fish. So the difference is the dipping sauce here. Mm. They add it on a little bit. Peanut on it. Yeah, the chopped peanuts in there is definitely very interesting. Okay, I make one too. All right. One, two, three. Yo, <laughs> I dip two here. I love this dish. The fish is so fresh, the flavor is very mild. The peanut sauce is great. So this is raw fish, but the way they sashimi it and also the environment in this island making the fish really mild. At the beginning, it like for really poor people yeah. where they don't have any oh, things yeah. to eat in the fishing village. Yeah. And now it become a delicacy yeah. dish in every single restaurant. That seemed how it always happened. And you lived in Saigon before. Can I find this in Saigon or no? You can, but... but not, not the same. Yeah, you need to move here. Probably my favorite thing I've tried in Food Walk so far. I think it's an excellent dish. And you said we should get the crab because this is a specialty of Food Walk. It's gonna be sweeter. Sweeter. And you said that. You said get the female crab. Get the female I've crab. I've never heard that before. Besides for the eggs. Female crab is better. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <my God. laughs> Mystery man caught a fish. <laughs> and of course we got fried rice too. Seafood fried rice, which is really good. Simple but great. Do you still appreciate the seafood now? You live here for a year? Yeah. You really still much. you still think it's so good. Wow, it's so moist. Oh my goodness. And then a dip if I want. It's been a long time since I had crab. It's very good. Sweet, succulent. Everything fresh. Yeah, everything. It's alive. You're not gonna get better than this. This is the best you're gonna get. Because sometimes when you come to a restaurant, they cut the crab and then they change. Yes, it happened before to me many, many times. And I know that we went to the night market the other day and uh, don't eat seafood at the night market. Come to the ocean and eat the seafood. Okay, let's eat the scallop. Oh, ah, still alive. <laughs> Cheers. Cheers. Yo. This is my favorite style. It is too salty to me. Too salty to you? I have a high salt palate. I like this. And I like this style of scallop too. It's grilled with the green onion and the peanut spray. You know, there is a kind of religion in Vietnam. Uh -huh. We call it tamarind religion. <laughs> <What>? <laughs> we can eat everything with tamarind. Okay. <laughs> and you go to a building to worship the tamarind. So I love it. Yes, I love tamarind. I don't know if I joined the religion yet, but I do enjoy it. Tamarind sauce is good. I like it boiled, but I do like the tamarind. I think tamarind better. It's good like your ex. Good like my ex. <laughs> that is a really popular saying in Vietnamese. Uh, that's a dangerous saying. I think that's a little scary. You're dating somebody else. People always ask like what my favorite food is. I like the food of the place. When I'm sitting in the middle of the ocean, I want to eat soup food. So this is a pretty perfect meal right here. Tang, come eat now. It's time for you to eat. You enjoy the food? I love the food. I love the spot. Should we book a grab or how do we get out of here? <laughs> Ooh, we might need to swim. <laughs> I guess we got a grab over here. Let's call him. Yeah, we have a crab boat. All right, I know we're all getting very tired. That was a long day. We're done. Thank you so much. It was such a cool experience. But I can feel us as the third wheel starting to get a little, uh, we're pushing our limit. I think we need to let them go on and enjoy the rest of the day together. So what is the most favorite spot of the day for you? It's very hard. The restaurant's incredible. The restaurant's the best. It's a very great secret spot and something you're not going to find without somebody's assistance or guidance. So definitely something we're checking out. Well, my pleasure to meeting you, Chad. Remember when you come back to Fukuok Island, let us know. I'll definitely let you know. It's great to meet you. Rot void to get him. Yeah. yeah. Bye -bye. Bye -bye. See you. Yeah. If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure you subscribe to the channel. Give it a like. If you've ever been to Fuwak before, let us know. It's a really great place. See you later. <laughs>